Welcome to JRN 3365, the first lecture on cameras. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what goes into a camera and the technology that we use to pull off um, things for shooting video, for news gathering, for production. So let's just jump right in, shall we? So when we're dealing with cameras, we're looking at two types of cameras that we're going to talk about in this class. The first is going to be a studio camera, which is this big camera here. The second is going to be a smaller camera called an ENG or an electronic news gathering. So with the field camera or the ENG, the really nice thing about them is that they're going to be relatively small in size. So you can just kind of hold them in the palm of your hand. You can also control all the settings, recording, zoom, focus at the camera. So you don't have to go to another location to remotely do that. They're powered by a battery, which means there's no power to go from a wall or another power supply to that. That makes them very robust and also makes them very portable. So you can go set up a shot and then when it's done, you can move it to another location, get another shot. So having a battery is very practical for that. You record audio and video with inside the camera itself and there's various types of media to record in. A lot of times we now shoot on these little cards called SD cards. So you can get all of that, you pop it out, take it into your editor of choice and then put your store together. And to make your camera a little more stable, uh, you have two types of um, holding up the ability to uh, station, keep your camera stationary. And that's going to come in the form of a tripod or a monopod, as they come from the name mono meaning one, tri meaning three, to use as the basic stability feature of your camera. Now, on the other side, you've got the studio camera which is this big device right here and the cool thing about the studio camera is that with uh, with it it is a very large robust camera it's designed mainly for in studio use so you don't really take it out on remote locations this is also going to be controlled by what's called a CCU or your camera control unit and the CCU is basically a remote control that's going to uh, take over certain aspects of your camera that you can use to control it from a remote location such as um, iris power, white balance setup. You can even in some cases do zoom and focus. Now the studio camera will also have a umbilical cord and this is a cable that's going to come out of the camera that's going to provide it with power, video, and remote control of the CCU. And this camera, unlike the NG where you record video within the camera, this camera will give you the ability to send video back to another production and or back to another location. And so with this, you do have the ability to take something and send video to a different location if it's going to be a director's booth or some other means of production. And then, of course, with this, it's also going to be supported on a pedestal, which is this giant device that the camera sits on top of. Because with all the extra things added to it, it's going to add a lot of weight and you need something more robust like a pedestal to be able to take uh, to be able to move the camera around. Now. When we're talking about cameras, we're going to be talking about uh, a lot of these cameras are going to have the same thing in common. And that's going to be that they're both going to have a lens, a viewfinder, a pedestal, which can be used as both the verb and the noun. We're going to be talking about the noun version first, the umbilical cord, the camera control unit. Now, you also have things behind the camera, what are called pan and tilt handles, so you can manually control how the camera moves. You're going to have things like focus control, zoom control, a CCD, the charge couple device. This is the vision um, aspect of the camera, how it sees and records things. There may also be a teleprompter, which is a device used for an anchor or talent to read text off of. And in the case of Trojan Vision, some of these things are on the camera, some of these things are not. So for the things that are actually on the physical camera are going to be the pan handles, the focus, the zoom, the CCD, and the teleprompter. All the others, things like um, iris control and all that, are going to be done through the CCU back in the production booth. So when we're talking about uh, what the camera sits on, there's a few varieties for us to use. And that's going to be things like the pedestal. 
Uh, this is a large mechanical device usually powered by air, hydraulics, or some other means to lift the camera up and down. You have up next a monopod. Sorry, monopod is off to the right. And mono means single. So this kind of looks like a walking stick. And then, of course, you have the tripod, which has one, two, three legs. This is a lot more stable for a camera and gives you the ability to leave the camera unattended. Whereas with the monopod, it does give you the ability to hold your camera, but since it's only one leg, it's going to have the ability to kind of move in multiple directions. So it may not give you a true steady shot like you would see with the tripod itself. Now, one thing to note, if you are going to be working with an ENG camera, uh, I monopods, I'm sorry, tripods, are still able to be easily tipped over. And what a rule of thumb is, if you're gonna be farther away than one arm length, and I can't get my whole arm into the camera, so if you can't reach the camera by just extending your arm, then take the camera off and put it on the ground. This was a camera that someone had left unattended, and as you can see, the camera was fine, but when they walked away, a strong gust of wind knocked it over and in effect, it wound up destroying the lens, it destroyed the viewfinder, and that made us very not happy because we had some broken equipment that we now had to repair or replace.